I'm Dooley and I'm with Nifty World. So I'm burning the sage, you know. Gotta make sure the shit is all cleared out, the energy is all cleared out. I can only operate when the energy is clear. When, it, when it's enough space for me to operate. Need camaraderie, not unless you promise that you'll die for me. If you say that you will, but don't, that's cool. Put that ass to the test to see what you do. Uh. Always keep enough space to keep my cool. I represent the entire city of LA, I would say. I grew up Gardena, Carson, Torrance, uh, View Park, Crenshaw District. I'm just an LA nigga, you know what I mean? Yeah, I represent the whole, the whole city. I think the biggest obstacle I faced growing up was, was figuring out where I belong. With moving around so much, switching friends, going from different school to school, switching friends. It's kind of hard to build a solid um, foundation on, on who you are. You know what I mean? Um, so I think just finding, my, finding myself, that's kind of how I felt growing up, but now that I'm older, it kind of helped me because I'm not in a box. You know what I mean? It, it, was, kind of, it was kind of a blessing in disguise because now I feel like I can do me and be me wherever you know, on whatever occasion, and I'm comfortable. At this point, it, I can't really go a day without making music. Um, it's become habit, it's become like a drug. My life revolves around it, you know what I mean? My thoughts are like songs now, you know what I mean? That's how long I've been, I've been into it. Started taking it seriously when I was about 16. I actually remember the first rap I wrote and why I wrote it. Um, Wiz Khalifa was on the Double XL Freshman cover that year, and he had like a crazy freestyle, and um, I got inspired by it. And I went out, and me and the homie had a um, me and the homie used to skateboard, so we had like a little skateboarding camera. We just took that motherfucker, went outside, wrote raps, and then tried to record it like that. That shit was so whack. We tried to record it like <laughs> we tried to record it like the freshman, uh, like we was freshmen or some shit. It was so terrible. But that's like the first time I was like, I'm gonna try to actually do this. You know what I mean? That was like around 16. So it's it's about eight nine years I've been making music. But even before then, you know, it was always in my household. My my dad can play fucking any instrument by ear. My grandfather was a, was a writer. He's written a couple of songs. So I kind of always been around it. Um, then I kind of found my own path with it. And now it's become something that I can't, you know, I can't sleep without doing something. I don't care if I got to write, if I can only write one bar down. If I do that, you know, I'm, I'm solid. You know, so music, music is, it's like fucking crack. It's, fuck, it's like fucking heroin. I cannot do it at this point, you know, for real. My style is pure, man. My, my musical style is pure. I, whatever I'm feeling, whatever I'm feeling, whatever I'm going through, you know, it's gonna come out, you know? If I just fucked a nigga's bitch, I'm gonna talk about how I just fucked a nigga's, a nigga's bitch. If I fucking feel down, if, I, if I'm upset about something, I'm gonna talk about how that shit is upsetting me. The style is, it's, it's pretty fluid. You know, I can, I feel like, I feel like I can hop on something that's, something that you would hear on the radio or something that's popular and then I can hop on some shit that's way left field. I think that just comes from me just liking to have fun with it and me being in love with this shit. You know what I mean? The roots are, you know, hip hop mixed with R&B mixed with rock and roll. Too bad we ain't sleep, though. Could be in a dream. Really, I've been sitting back and watching all my friends. Uh. Wonder if they'd rather see me lose than see me win. Uh. Some may say I'm paranoid, I may just be a bit. Uh. Whipping with the tens, I might have to get the ten. Uh. Lightning on my fist, might just slide my wrist, wrist, wrist. Busy cutting up in here, I ain't got time to grow the twist. Yeah, I drink a lot, but promise it ain't nothing that I miss. 
think Kid Cudi would for sure be my biggest inspiration just as far as feeling like I can take the music anywhere. You know what I mean? That nigga was doing music that you never heard before. Then he flipped it on you and did a rock and roll album. You know what I mean? So just seeing that and growing up with that. And he didn't give a fuck either. You know what I mean? That was, that was fucking cool too to see. So just seeing that kind of put me in the mind frame of like, okay, I don't have to be like what's popping, but I can still be cool and I can still be me and it can still work. You know what I'm saying? Niggas like him, niggas like Kanye, you know what I mean? Really paved that way. So those two guys, um, outside of that, you know, I like a lot of rock and roll, you know what I mean? The toughest part about this music shit is that you, you, you have to kind of, it requires, especially now that the, the game is so, you can be independent and do your shit and get your shit out there. It requires you to, to do things that you might not want to do. Fucking post your new song a hundred times, you know what I mean? Shit that you, shit, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I'm not into that. But because, you know, it, it, um, it does help grow you, grow you as an artist, grow your fan base, grow awareness on you, um, you gotta do it. You know what I mean? You gotta, you gotta play the game. You know what I mean? No matter where it is. You know what I mean? If you wanna be in it, you gotta, you gotta play it. You know, with this music shit, I, I obviously wanna reach as many people as I can because I feel like I got something to say. And I feel like if I'm able to, to reach a lot of people, then I'm able to inspire a lot of people. And I remember what my favorite artists did for me. To be able to do that for, you know, some, somebody that's 16, 15, 14, whatever, growing up, you know, that's, that's kind of that's what, I, what, I, what I go for when I make music. Because I, I, really, I really appreciate it, Cuddy and, and, and Ye talking, talking to me through the, through the boom box or, you know, through the speakers, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Yeah, Red Hot is just about having fun. You know what I'm saying? Red Hot is about having fun, being yourself, just really enjoying, enjoying life. That would be the message of it, you know what I mean? Um, whatever you get from it, whatever people get from it is what they get from it. I'm not here to tell you what you should get from it, but you know, I made it with the intent for people to just enjoy that shit. Just like I make all my other music, you know, all my other songs. So Red Hot, out now, listen to that shit. Apple Music, Spotify, SoundCloud, all platforms. Could be in a dream. Hey, want too many red flags, it ain't much to fall back on that ass. Uh, want too many big bags, it ain't much to watch good go bad. Yeah, want too many pop tags, but I pop one, pop two, three more on your ass. Time to relax, South Coast on your ass. Baby got back, was a load on that ass. Wait. Mm. Okay, had to read the look written on your face. That will be the last thing you say. No, you won't get to plead your case. No, you won't get to clean your slate. No, I won't wait for more mistakes. I don't got that much time to waste. You know, I thought I was gonna be balling. Thought I was gonna have it all um, by the time I was 21. And, uh, you know, it didn't happen that way. For a lot of people, for some people, for very few, for a very small amount, it does, and that's cool. Um, but it didn't happen for me. You think you're gonna do this, but you end up doing this. You know what I mean? And you, you gotta deal with it. I'm making progress every motherfucking day. You know, I'm feeling better and better about all the shit I've been doing every day. You know, so just, if, you, if you're trying to do some shit, man, you, you gotta trust that it's for you. You gotta believe that it's for you, and then the universe will take care of the rest. I'm independent, yeah. I, 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 have, my, uh, I have my label, TMM, Tastemakers Music. And if, you know, to all the labels, to all the big labels out there, if you motherfuckers want a piece, y'all gotta come correct. I, gotta, I need a jet to the motherfucking, uh, the, a private island or something and I'ma sit and I'ma mull it over and I'ma get back to you. But yeah, TMM, Tastemakers Music. I got an artist uh, aside from myself that, that I'm working on and, and we gonna get some, we gonna, we gonna have some dope shit out. Yeah, we gonna have some dope, some crazy shit out. Red Hot's already out. Uh, aside, aside from that, we got, some, uh, we, got some, we got some great work. I don't, wanna, I don't wanna give too much away, but when it's time, it's, yeah, it's gonna be time. This says electric, and there's a fucking electric pulse that goes throughout my body, that goes throughout your body. And I just wanted to fucking honor that by putting it on my fingers because 
it's, uh, it's, it's what keeps me going. On my hands, I have lightning bolts, one filled in, one that's not filled in. That represents duality. You know, you can't have the good without the bad, you know, for lack of a longer explanation, you know, so yeah, electric. Sometimes you just gotta look at yourself and, and just realize how fucking awesome you are. And I'm saying this to like everybody that's watching this, you know what I mean? Sometimes you really just have to look in the mirror and say, you're fucking awesome and I fucking love you and you're fucking handsome or beautiful or whatever it is. And you have to go out in the world like that. You know what I mean? That's how you have to do it. Cause it's gonna be a lot of motherfuckers. It's gonna be a lot of motherfuckers out here that try to keep you down, hold you down, hold you back. And the only way you get through it is by reminding yourself that you can get through it. You know? And I'm gonna get through it for sure. Cheers to that. Social media, I'm duly the vote on everything. That's duly the vote on everything. D O O L E Y T H E V O L T. Duly the vote on all platforms, all social media, all that shit.